Lately, I have lost count of the amount of people who've told me that they're really struggling with the feeling of not being chosen, like a cycle that's just on repeat and it won't stop and you don't know how to get off the merry-go-round that feels so distressing, uncomfortable and just not fair. And I've been there, I really know, I really, really know because for, I'd say all of my teens and all of my twenties until my thirties, I felt the same and I was stuck in the same cycle of not feeling or being chosen, especially not by the people and the person that I really, really wanted to be with. And it all changed when I stopped looking at the men and at the situations and at money for the answers. And I stopped looking outside of myself entirely and I looked within because it's true. It is true. It all starts within. And when you start to choose yourself and choose to make your feelings matter and your being matter, your existence matter, your wants, your hopes, your dreams, your desires, when you choose to make those things matter, you become the sexy, confident, attractive, chosen version of you that shows up as someone who expects to be chosen because you're choosing you. You lead the way, you lead the way. And it's just a practice and a habit. When you show up to the world and show up for yourself as someone that's prioritizing your feelings, your needs, your wants, your yeses and your noes, you're showing the world how to love you. You're showing people how it's done so that they know you're the guidebook, you're the manual that everybody needs. I know that this is a difficult and sometimes really confusing transition when you haven't been used to doing this. You may have experienced really strong relationship anxiety, codependency, which is incredibly common, anxious or avoidant attachment styles, which makes choosing yourself in relationships sometimes really difficult and confusing. So this is why I've made a four week course running all the way from the 1st of November until the 30th of November to really get to know how to choose yourself. I'm gonna be giving you everyday challenges, just simple daily challenges to help you get into the state of being and choosing yourself so that you get used to that, so that you know how to embody it. And there's going to be three live workshops that are going to dive into different aspects of healthy relationships, including communication and boundaries and expectations, relationship anxiety and how to heal codependency, and many other things as well that I know that you're going to find so useful. I would love you to be there. It's going to be a beautiful month and it's nearly Christmas and we know how much and how quickly things can change when you put your mind to it. So let's put our minds to it. Let's do this together. It's going to be a beautiful experience of choosing yourself. I'm going to be sharing with you the things that I did on my journey to start to learn how to choose myself fully, authentically, every day. I'm going to be sharing with you the knowledge that I've learned about relationships and relationship dynamics that will help you to have the mindset and the mental preparation to be able to walk into a beautiful relationship, knowing that you know how to not sabotage it next time. You're going to feel more in control and more confident than ever before. And I'm so excited to witness the growth that you're all going to experience by doing this amazing one month of choosing yourself, which I'm sure will last forever.